What is going on everybody? This is Weekly Reviews here, and today guys we are going to be taking a look at Mutant Mud's Super Challenge. So, for anybody who has ever played Mutant Mud's, this is pretty much a test of your endurance of how well you can do with Mutant Mud's now. Pretty much supercharged to a difficulty that is pretty much now unheard of on this earth. Pretty much. Well, maybe not that extreme, but pretty much close enough. So, let's go ahead and start the game. And let's go ahead and start into our first stage. Now, I'm also going to be playing this on the Nintendo tablet controller or the gamepad. So, let's go ahead and jump into World 1-1. So, if you've never played Mutant Muds before, let's just go ahead and go over real quick the basics. So, basically, your objective is to make it through the levels... Uh, try to collect all of these coins. Uh, they'll basically be like little power-ups for you later that you can earn uh, if you get enough of them. And basically, these mutant guys basically come down to Earth, attack it, and pretty much it is up to you with your little shooter and a wide variety of uh, power-ups eventually to grab during the game to uh, destroy them. And, of course, beat the uh, the bosses, of course, in the game. Now, this is a game that's created by Renegade Kid. Uh, another great company that has made amazing games like Zeo Drifter. Uh, they made the original Mutant Muds. They did work on, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Dimension. And a few other games. Ah! Dang it, I can't believe I did that. Like, I was not paying attention there. Plus, this is a game that you only have three hearts for health. That's it. So this is going to be a game that will kick your ass. And this is not going to be a cup of tea to go ahead and beat. So unless you're a person that has played games like the original Mega Man with no cheats and everything, able to beat it with no flaws, this is going to be a game that's right up y'all's alley. Uh... Now, I've never really went and sat down and played 100% uh, fully through every Mega Man game. Uh, there's still some Mega Man games I never played. Uh, I did play most of the uh, original ones. And why did I fall through there? Did I even push down on the D-pad? I don't think I did. I guess I did, because otherwise it wouldn't have happened. Ah, dang it! I thought I would be able to go ahead and make that last jump before he got me, but I didn't. Alright, let's try it again. Now, one of the things that's cool is, in the game, you can actually hover for a short period of time, and if you want to actually go right straight back down, you want to basically press on your A button. You can press on A one time, and it'll make you hover, or if you hold it, you do it the same way. And then if you double tap it while you're in the air already, it'll make you go ahead and go back down. Oh, that time I got lucky. And you know what? I'm not even going to worry about those other three. All I want to do is get through the level. There we go. Damn it! <laughs> uh, Joel's ah yeah this was this was a game made by Renegade Kid but it was ma majorly made by Jules Jules Watchem and he's a really great guy really nice guy uh, I've talked to him a couple times very down to earth person very nice person and he's just a big video game fan, just like I am. Uh, maybe one day I hope to go ahead and eventually visit him, say what's up, maybe have a Mutant Mud bash or something at his house, maybe. Be like, Mutant Mud party up in here! Dang it! No! Uh, oh my god. Knowing Jules, he's probably just looking at this like, man, this guy really sucks. 
And the thing is, is it's it's not that I'm trying to suck. I mean, it's been a long time since I played the original Mutant Muds. And this is only the second time I've actually been able to really sit down and get to actually play this preview. So I'm still very, very new with how everything has changed. Ah, oh, there we go. We got across, though. Take out that other mutant. Okay, be very careful. Like, be very, very careful. Ah, darn it. Like, we are right there. If I mess up on this, I'll be like, I'll quit gaming right now. There we go. Got it. Whew! Well, after about six minutes, pretty much, <laughs> of failing. So let's go ahead and head into the next world, which is 3-1. And let's see how we do in this one. Now, I'm not going to go on and show off the boss level, because, yeah, let's just say that if I try to play that boss level, we'll be here for 20 minutes, and I'm sure Jules does not want to be watching this video, if he even does, for 20 minutes of me trying to play this, and fail for 20 minutes. This seems like a new mutant to me. It's a cool mutant, though. Like, it actually goes around in, like, a circle, and that's kind of cool. I like the animation of it. It's like a... It's like a cat that's been, uh... blown up with air or something. Like, it's kind of cool looking. There we go. Alright, we're gonna wait, because... I need to take that guy out first. There we go. Alright, now go. There we go. Ah, he still got me. No! Ah! Try this again. Oh, shit! Oh my god, I got lucky there. I thought for sure I was a goner on that. Dang it, and I still got hit. Alright, well, it still brings us to 35, so we're doing... We're doing okay. Like, we will make it... Just go really slow. And, like, even though you guys see a timer on there, uh, don't feel like you're being rushed, because, I mean, the areas are really not that big. But they are time-consuming, though. Especially if you're one for trying to collect everything. You know what? I'm just going to miss... I'm just going to forget about those guys. about to say like that last one sure as heck wasn't gonna work there we go took him out you know what? I'm just gonna forget about you three okay there we go Oh my god. Oh my god, thank you for that checkpoint. we got to the checkpoint. Oh my god, that was so stupid. Like, I should have waited. There we go. Take that small one out so I don't have to go and deal with him when I get over there.
Take him out too. Damn it! Ah. Okay. Got three more tries until the game's gonna reset on me. Let's let's make it let's make it past this round. Like, come on, everybody! I want you. I want. I need to cheer. I need to cheer. Like, come on, weekly. Come on, weekly. No, I'm not. I'm not being serious. Please, please don't cheer for me. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Slowly. Slowly. We got plenty of time. Oh my god, we're almost there. Yeah. There we go. Alright guys, so as I stated, we're not going to be checking out the boss level because I'm just going to be failing way too hard on that. And I'm sure Jules is already done laughing from how bad I played. <laughs> so again, big thank you to uh, Jules and of course Renegade Kid for allowing us to be able to show off this awesome uh, demo preview of Mutant Mud Super Challenge from the Nindy uh, event preview build. So, guys, if you want to, make sure to go ahead and try out the preview build. By the time you go ahead and see this video, it may already be down. Uh, but if you do go ahead and try it out, it will get you 50% off of a chance to be able to get Mutant Muds. Excuse me, not for a chance. It will be 15% off if you go ahead and try out the demo and still have it on your eShop account. So, thanks again, guys, for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my showing of me playing Mutant Muds Super Challenge. And if you have any other requests for any indie games that you want me to possibly show off on Nintendo Wii U, or as well as PC and Steam, let me know in the comments, especially for any of you indie devs that are looking for anybody to show off any of your games. Thanks again, guys, for stopping by. And this has been Weekly Reviews telling you guys to take care, and as always, game on.